Hello friends! Do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you look on the calendar and tell me which shape was the last shape we drew in our pattern? If we can find the last shape we drew in our pattern, then we will know what yesterday was and that will help us to determine what today is. Did you guess a yellow circle? Yellow circle was the last shape we drew in our pattern. So yesterday was Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. And it was also Dr. Seuss's birthday. Lots of schools and parents and daycares did a National Read Day. So you, lots of people were doing lots of reading yesterday. So yesterday was this square and we're going to move over one square because we always go left to right. And this is going to be today. So we want to put in the next pattern. And I'm gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna change our pattern today. So instead of going shamrock, coin, shamrock, I'm going to put a coin there. And this is going to be called an ABB pattern. So let's take our yellow marker or crayon and you can practice on your calendar or on a piece of paper, or you can practice with your finger in the air. Let's draw a circle together. You start up at the top, come down in a curve, and then come back up to the top and then just color that in. And it's okay if you want to use a different pattern or if you want to X out your square, however you want to decorate your calendar is fine. So next we're going to determine what the name of the day is. So we go up to the top and it says Wednesday. And do you see how many names we have for each day? Lots of days. Can we count and see how many days we have? And then we can sing the names as well. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thank you for singing that with me. It's much more fun when we do it together. So if we go back to our square and go up to today, today is Wednesday and it starts with a W and W sounds like w -w -w, like wet or wobbly. W so it starts with a capital W because it's the name of our day, W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y, Wednesday, Wednesday. So now that we know what the name of the day is, we can put it into our agenda. Do you have your agenda with you? It's okay if you don't. You can practice on a plain piece of paper, or if you want, you can practice with your finger in the air, or even just saying the letters with us is also good practice. So we're going to start our sentence with two words. Today is. So today begins with a capital T because it's the first word in our sentence. T-O-D-A-Y and then is. I-S. And next we're going to put in the name of the day and it is Wednesday. So capital W because it's the name of our day. E-D-N-E-S-D-A. Y and then a comma and the comma reminds us to pause before we say our next word and our next word is going to be the month. And do you know which month we are in? Do you remember? Good guessing. Let's see if we're correct. Let's start by counting out how many months we have in the year. Are you ready? Count with me. Even if you don't know all your numbers yet, we can still count together and practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in the year. Are you ready to practice their names? Let's go back up to the top. Sing it with me. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. Let's go back up to the top. Do you remember which month we are in? The third one down. One, two, three. We are in March. And we always put it at the top of our calendar. And March begins with the capital M. And M sounds like, mm, maybe, mm, muscles, M, mm. So capital M, A, R, C, H, March. That's just one syllable, March. So now we can put our month into our sentence in our agenda. Today is Wednesday, comma, and we've rounded a room, so we're gonna come down and come back to the beginning. And then we will put March, capital M, because it's the name of our month, A-R-C-H. And then we need to put in the number. Do you know what our number will be today? 
Let's figure it out together. So we'll go back to our square with the circle in it. And yesterday was two. And we say the second. When we put it in the calendar, we say second. Even though when we count, we say two, we say second when we put it in the calendar. Can you say second? Good job. So what comes after two when we're counting? Let's start at the beginning and see if our guess is correct. Are you ready? One, two, three. Did you guess three? Three. And we say third when we put it in the calendar. Can you say third? Good job. So you can do this on your paper, on your calendar, or just do it in the air with your finger and we will make a three together. Are you ready? Let's start up at the top here and we're gonna curve around in a bump. Whoop, and then stop there and then come back out and do a bump again. Whoop, and there's our three. Before we put it into our agenda, let's count backwards. Are you ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Good job. Now let's put our number into our agenda. Today is Wednesday, comma, March, Third. So we'll put the three in there. You can practice in your agenda or on a piece of paper or with your finger. Three. And then we're going to put a comma. And this comma reminds us to pause before we say the year. Do you remember what the year is? It's up at the top of our calendar. 2021. Or you can say 2021. So let's put that into the sentence in our agenda. Today is Wednesday, comma, March 3rd, comma, 2021, two, zero, two, one, period. And that period reminds us to stop. That is the end of our sentence. Can you say the whole sentence with me? Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. Thank you for saying that with me, that's great. Now I'm going to practice making my numbers all the way up to number three. I want to practice making my numbers every day so I get really good at them. You can practice on your paper or you can practice with them with your finger in the air. Or you can just count with me. All those ways are great ways to practice. Are you ready? One, two, three. That was nice and easy. Just short, just three numbers today. Did you look outside before you joined us to do our calendar today? What is the weather like where you are? Is it sunny? Do you have lots of sun? Is it getting nice outside? If you have snow, is it beginning to melt away? I'm hoping that our snow is going to start melting away. The forecast is for some nice sunny weather this week, so we'll see about that. What about snowy? Is it snowing where you are? It's not snowing where I am. What about raining? Are your clouds raining down on you so you can splash in some puddles? Not where I am. What about partly cloudy, partly sunny? What about cloudy? I have cloudy weather today. So I'm going to put cloudy on the board. And will you help me put the weather into our weather chart? So, so the first one is raining, but it's not raining. The next one is snowing, but it's not snowing. Sunny, I wish it was sunny, but not today. Here's a cloud, but it has a sun with it. So that's partly cloudy, partly sunny, and that's not today. I don't have any sun at all. Here's the cloudy one. Let's put a tally mark in there. There is no other tally marks yet, so we we'll just do one. You can practice with me on your paper in the air with your finger. You just put your finger up high and strike down. Are you ready? We have one cloudy day so far in March. Thank you so much for helping me with that. Let's finish up the rest of our agenda. So now that I know what the weather is like, I can put a cloud onto my agenda. Next, I'm going to draw a picture of what I'm going to do today. Today is also another special day and it is called National I Want You To Be Happy Day. So what we do today is we find out what our loved ones really, really like to be happy. So maybe they like to have a little bit of quiet time. Maybe they like to watch TV. Maybe they like a cupcake. Maybe they like a hug. So we find out what they need to be happy and then we try to help them be happy. So I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of hearts because I am going to find out what all my people need to be happy. And then I'm going to try to make them happy. 
So I'll put some little happy faces in my hearts. So that's all my friends and family happy. And that is also going to be my kind thing to do today. So you can also try to find out what makes your people happy and see if you can help them become happy or be a little bit happier today. So next I'm gonna put my name on my agenda because I wanna practice printing my name every day. And you can practice your name too. Make sure you put a capital letter at the beginning because it's your name and it's very important. So capital C-E-L-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And if you don't know all your letters yet, you can just start by making one letter a day. If you practice one letter a day, you'll get really good at making all of the letters and then you'll be able to print all the words with us in no time. So we're practicing the letter M right now. So you can take your crayon or pencil on your paper or you can use your finger in the air to make an M with me. Are you ready? Start up at the top and pull it down. Then go back up to the top, come a little ways down and then go back up and then come all the way down. Let's try that one more time. Come all the way down, then go back up to the top, come down a little bit and then back up to the top and then down again. And that is an uppercase M. Next, we're gonna make a lowercase M. So you start halfway up, it's half as tall as a big M, and you bring it down. Then you go almost all the way up to the top and you arch out and come down. Then come back up to almost to the top again and arch out and come down. And you've made a lowercase M. Let's do that one more time. Start halfway up and strike it down. Then come almost all the way to the top, curve out and down. Then go back up to the, almost to the top again and come out and down. Good job. So you've made an uppercase M and a lowercase M. So before we go on to our feeling faces, I am just going to write on here what today is so that I remember. So today is, and you can practice with me with your finger in the air or you can practice printing it on your paper. I want W-A-N-T you Y O U two T O B B E happy H A P P Y day. <laughs> I had to squeeze that in there. So I want you to be happy day. So yesterday I was happy. I think I might still be happy today. Are you feeling happy today? We have all these emotions that we can choose from. I think I might be happy today. I'm kind of excited that I get to find out what my people really like to do to be happy, what they need to be happy, and I'm gonna try to help them be happy. So that's kind of exciting to me. Hmm, I might be a little bit more than happy. What about confused? Are you confused or worried? Maybe you're confused about what makes people happy. Maybe you're confused about what makes you happy. It's really good to talk about it. You can talk about it with your friends or a grown up. Hmm, could be that one. What about sad? Are you sad today? Maybe we can help you to be happy. Hmm, let's see. Are you angry? I'm not angry today. It's okay to be angry though. Did something happen that might make you angry? I think I'm excited. I think I'm excited today because I get to help people be happy. And that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to put excited on the board today. So I hope that you can find something to do that makes the people you care about really happy. And I hope that they do something to make you happy too. And I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.